Representative Jamal Bowman of New York knowingly pulled a fire alarm to cause chaos and stop the House from doing its business. This is a felony, plain and simple. Mr. Bowman should know the consequences of pulling a fire alarm to cause panic. In New York schools, the policy is clear. When a student commits a crime on campus, police are called and that student is either suspended or expelled. One would think Representative Bowman would be able to hold himself to the same standards as he held his students to. I don't think that's a lot to ask. Mr. Speaker, this is a profoundly stupid resolution. Under Republican control, this chamber has become a place where trivial issues get debated passionately and important ones not at all. Republicans have focused more, uh, focused more, have focused more on censuring people in this Congress than passing bills that help people we represent or improving this country in any way. What a waste of time and money. They have turned this place into a joke. They came into the majority talking a big game, but have delivered nothing, not a single damn thing. They talk about passing this and passing that. All their hyper-partisan bills are going nowhere. What we're now doing is distracting from the fact that the Republican agenda has been a total and complete failure. The, the least productive Congress in history, the most rules failed in a single year. They dragged America to the brink of default twice, almost shut down the government, wasted weeks fighting about who should be speaker, hitting each other in the hallways, and it's, and, and, and it's all because uh, we should be because we should be talking about important issues in this chamber, Mr. Speaker. We should be addressing health care costs, helping American Americans build economic security, competing with our adversaries abroad, and investing in our people at home. We just had a shooting in Las Vegas tonight. We should be talking about preventing gun violence in this country. And you have us here talking about how someone tried to go out the wrong door of the Cannon House office building. I mean, honestly, what the hell is wrong with you? Congressman Bowman apologized, and I want to read his statement so we can be clear about what we're talking about here today. Quote, today as I was r rushing to make a vote, I came to a door that usually is open for votes, but today would not, be, would not open. I am embarrassed to admit that I activated the fire alarm, mistakenly thinking it would open the door. I regret this and sincerely, sincerely apologize for any confusion this caused. He messed up. Like many of us do every day, he was rushing to get to votes. And guess what? No one was hurt. No one's life was put in danger. Votes went on like nothing happened. Anyone who works here knows that a fire alarm going off across the street wouldn't impact votes going on here in the Capitol. And I find it terribly ironic that we are talking about censuring Mr. Bowman, yet we never censured any of our colleagues who tried to overturn the election on January 6th or who failed to respond to a subpoena, or who put our national security in danger by storming a skiff with their phones. In fact, to the contrary, Mike Johnson, the new Speaker of the House, held a press conference yesterday about the January 6th video footage. Something he said stuck with me. Quote, we have to blur some of the people's faces who participated in the events of that day because we don't want them to be retaliated against and charged by the DOJ. End quote. So just to be clear, Republicans want to protect the insurrectionists, shield them from accountability, the people who beat officers, kicked in doors, smashed windows, desecrated this building, and tried to take down our democracy. Not our doors, America's doors, America's offices, America's windows, and this is America's building that Trump's mob defiled. Speaker Johnson wants to protect the mob. But has, but has us here debating this absurd censure. What a pathetic exercise in retaliation and revenge. What a petty thing it is to bring this garbage to the floor. Sadly, it's just a typical week for this disgraceful Republican majority. I, with that, I reserve, Mr. Speaker. Gentleman reserves.